All right, guys, we're here with uh, my wife, Liv, um, and she's going to go through, she's a, a jiu-jitsu black belt, uh, silver medalist at World Championships, so she's actually more accomplished than me, but um, uh, she's going to go through two different ways of escaping the heel hook, or two ways of sort of slipping out of, of heel hooks from 50-50. Yeah, so um, pretty much if my opponent has caught me in a heel hook, what they're aiming to do is to lock my heel and my toe. So there's two different uh, points that my foot is stuck. Um, obviously my hip is stuck, my foot is stuck, and the, to the rotational torque happens in the knee. So to escape a heel hook, I want to either get rid of or clear my heel or my toes. Um, so essentially what I want to do is clear the heel through this gap or get my toes out through this gap here. Um, to slip the heel, uh, which is probably my favorite one, um, what I want to do first is make sure I'm blocking this hand. So I don't want Lucky to connect the, um, the hands, but once they're connected, I'm going to go um, and slip the heel. Okay, so I want to block this heel, uh, this hand, um, and what I want to do is point my toes. So I'm doing this action, plantar flexion, ballerina toes. I'm pointing my toes. That makes it hard for him to get a really good um, heel on the, sorry, grip on the heel. So I point. What I want to do next is rotate it away from him and kick it in deep this way. So I want to curl that leg towards his ribs. And it's very hard to hold on to that heel. So again, I block, make sure there's no pressure. I come in forward, I point my foot, ballerina toes, and then I slip and turn my whole leg, kick, kick this deep. So now it's very hard for him to redig that heel. All right, so the other part of escaping from a heel hook is slipping the toes rather than the heel. So usually when I'm in 50-50, as soon as we get here and I know my opponent is trying to dig a heel, um, I want to actively be curling that heel towards my own hips. So like this. So even if Lockie manages to catch my heel now, it's very hard for him to get good leverage on that. So I always actively curl like this. Now I'm nice and close to him. There's a big gap for me to escape my toes. So even though he's caught my heel, this is going to be harder for me to slip my heel. But what I can do is block this hand, bring my other foot in to block the bicep and create a gap to slip my toe this way. So one more time. I start curling, I block his other hand so it's hard for him to connect. I've now got a big gap for me to slip my toes. Sometimes they just come out, most of the time I'll put my toes in his biceps with the other foot and get out of a heel hook. Um, have a go and stretch your feet so you're a ballerina. So Liv uh, is about to compete in the ADCC trials in Europe uh, next week. Uh, but she's got a few seminars and so on booked as well. So if you want to check them out, Liv, do you want to tell them about it? Yeah, sure. So I'll be teaching in London, then in Stuttgart in Germany, then I'm off to Zurich in Switzerland, and then two workshops in Cologne. So uh, I'll be teaching Gi and No Gi. I'll also be available for privates, and we can hang out and eat and roll and train. It'll be amazing. Um, check out the links below for more details.